Hello, all you hardcore boxing fan, fans out there. How are we doing? It's uh, Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Today, I'm joined by Mickey from Essex. How are you doing, Mickey? Yeah, all good. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, uh, good. What have you been up to then lately since I last seen you, Mick? Training, working, usual what we do. Yeah. Uh, I've had a lot of questions in, people wanting to know a bit more about you, because obviously uh, the little documentary thing that I shot down your way, only 20 minutes, but all day for 20 minutes footage, but uh, people liked it and you seem to have uh, been, been very popular. It's, you know, it's over 10,000 views in the space of a free, of, well, Saturday night, I think I put it out, it? so uh, what we're on here, Tuesday afternoon, so in the space of three days, you'd have 10,000 views, which is good. Impressions are good on it, but I've had a lot of emails wanting to know bits and bobs about you. Uh, first of all, how old were you when you took up bodybuilding? And then obviously, I know you've done martial arts, boxing training and all that kind of thing, but when did you start with weights and all that kind of thing and stuff and boxing and that? I think around 15 years of age, yeah. 15, yeah? Mm, yeah. <clears throat> there wouldn't have been many gyms about then, though, would there? Um, no, back in the day, it wasn't so popular as it is today. But, um, yeah, it was it, it, yeah, it was gyms you can get a workout out. Well, we thought there were gyms at the time, but compared to nowadays, it's a different class. Yeah. All right, then. And who, 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 were, who were famous bodybuilders around there in them days, or...? Bertle Fox, he was from down your way, wasn't he? Bertle Fox, yeah. I mean, Bertle Fox trained around the corner from where I live, basically. Yeah. Um, he was uh, training with a guy called uh, Philip Topping, another big lump. Um, yeah. He was a big he was a unit at Bertle Fox. Because I started training in that gym about two, three years after. And that's when, obviously, I, st I started seeing proper lumpy you know, guys I've never seen before in my life. And I thought, wow, you know, amazing. Um, you wanted to be like to that. reach that standard after was a bit rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get there in the end, though. Yeah. Chasing the dream. Yeah, and obviously, uh, you, obviously, when did you start getting into competitions and stuff? I think when, about, about the age of 21, I started doing my first show. Um, yeah, 21 onwards. And did you win that? Yeah, I won every show apart from the British Heavyweight Championships where they they put me fourth instead of I would have took second, but anyway. Is that the um, one where you threw the trophy? Yeah, that's the one. Went crazy, lost it a little bit, um, threw the trophy to judges, banned me for two years, come back and won it. Did you? Yeah. Listen, if I want something, I'll, I'll, I'll win, and that's it. You know what I mean? And that's that's the way I am, you know, in whatever I do. Yeah. Uh, when What made you get into do combat sports and that, Mick? Have you always liked to fight in that, or was it just because you were working as a, you had your own security business? What? Yeah, I, I suppose once you start getting involved with it, you, you, you go to work at night on the doors or whatever clubs, and last thing you want is trouble. Yeah. But then it, it comes to you. You know, you don't have to look for it. It just comes to you. You know, people are pissed, alcohol out their heads or drugs, whatever. You know, because they can't get in a stupid club. They want to fucking take your head off or do something or come back and shoot you or stab you or you know, it's crazy. You know. But I suppose the next day, if you put them down and relax them and clear them out of their whatever they're taking, they, they would realise, yeah, I was mad doing that, you know, and they'd say sorry, but they don't at the time because they want to get in the club as a big thing, you know. I think it's the word, you can't come in, sorry, sir, um, because they're boozed up or drugged up, whatever, you know, and they get they take offence in. Um, and, and that's how people, you know, get hurt and, and, and cause things that they shouldn't really cause because it's, it's over nothing at the end of the day. A lot of people end up dead or going away for it, you know, it's crazy. Um until, like you say, the next day they wake up in a fucking police cell or whatever, and they're looking at a, a life a, a sentence for what? Because because you got turned away from a nightclub. It's, it's just fucking ridiculous, really. But only till they go for that period of whatever the clubs or whatever they go trying to get into, and they end up hurt or they done something wrong or bottle 
killed someone, shot someone, stabbed someone, and the, and the next morning they're in the cell on their own, four walls, breakfast under the table or uh, through the hatch, and they think, oh my God, where am I? What's happened? What did I do, you know? And that's when, when, when the shit hits the fan. Yeah. Uh... So it's, it's hard, but you know, work, you know, because you can't react to it the way you want to react with people because you know the consequences and, and it's your job uh, at the end of the day and you're on camera and, and, and things are going to be done correct, you know? Yeah. Uh, what made you get into the security business, Mike? Oh, I think I suppose I suppose because I was I started training early when I was young. I started security when I was about sixteen, I think. You know what I mean? And uh, standing in the corner back in the days to wear suit and dicky bows. You know what I mean? Standing like arms crossed, you know, in the corner, kicks off. Fucking the other door would go flying in. I think that's what I got to do. You know what I mean? And that's how you learn. Um, and yeah, that's that's how, that's how that happens really. And then you go on from that. You know. And obviously nowadays they all have to wear badges, don't they? And they've got to restrain you. And there's not. It is a lot of them got cameras now. You know, you know they think I don't know. They think they're like fucking traffic warden or a policeman now. You know? Yeah, and, and that goes to a little bit. And have you still got your security businesses, Mick, or are you moving on to other things? Uh, no, no, you know I've come out of that game. Um, I think you know enough was enough, um, and, and, and that you know get on and do something. Good. When there's no headaches and no hassle, and no um, no one wants to take your head off or stab you or shoot you. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous, you know what I mean, nowadays. Especially nowadays in London, the kids are like 13, 14, going around with guns and they're just doing what they've got to do, you know. I don't care. Yeah. They're that age. Yeah. Have you been in pub trade, Mick? Uh, I've been in wine bars. Um, I suppose it's similar to a pub, but um, yeah, just a bit more, a bit more fancy, isn't it? Yeah, a bit more tied up. Yeah. Where were where were wine bars at? Sorry, where were wine bars at? Uh, one called Bentley's. It was in Walthamstow. Uh, it's still uh, sort of East London. Um, yeah, uh, back in the day, it was. I think it was uh, 1985. 1985. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think I first. I, that was the first time I bought me Bentley. A couple of my pals had Bentley's, and I was driving the Merc around. I think it was a 500 SEC back in the day. And I thought that was the dog's bollocks. I said, get rid of that, get a Bentley. So I've got an old Bentley, didn't I? The old square one. Started driving in them days. So two pals of mine had Bentleys as well, but newer ones. And um, I found about it. Let's call it Bentleys. So on the opening night, there's all these Bentleys parked outside. You know, Bentleys night, uh, wine bar. It was, yeah, it was nice at the time. You know, when you look back at it. You've got a thing about Bentleys, Mick, can not you? You like them, don't you? Listen, I've been driving since, since then, 1985, the old square-shaped model, you know, the old, uh, the old fucking old model. Yeah. Then it went to the Arge, then it went to the, the late ones, you know. And, yeah, it's just everything changes as we go along. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I've you... a few over the years, haven't I? Yeah, I've I've seen a few on, on the photos you sent me and that of it. You had, I think one of them you had a mullet haircut, didn't you? <laughs> so you had a mullet going on, or but uh, I remember them old square ones because uh, they looked like Rolls Royces, didn't they? Exact same, but the I think the grills were different. Yeah, um, had the mesh, and the rolls had the thin fans. Had the straight uh, chrome things on the front, didn't it? <laughs> That's it, and obviously it had the badge, didn't it? The 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 the, the ghost, the lady on, on, on the bonnet, and and the Bentley had the flying bee, like a bee going backwards. My pal Ash, who's got a showroom next door to my office, he's got a he's got a Rolls Royce, and they're, they're all right, you know. Them, it's British as well, aren't they? What the old ones or the new ones? He, he's got a, a new shaped one, but they're they're all British, aren't they? Rolls Royce and Bentleys made in England. Made in England, yeah. Oh, they're not English parts then. <laughs> yeah, they, they are made in England and yeah, they may still made over in, in Goodwood, so yeah. Yeah, big shout out to Eastwood Autos. How are you doing? Uh all right then. Uh you're training at the moment. Obviously, you want to fight John Fury, don't you? For the simple reason. He said he he's the best man over 50. Now he's 50. 
He's born in 1964, May, so he'll be 57 in May. And you are 57 now, aren't you? Just turned 57 October. Oh, so you're basically... I'm born 63. You're yeah. five months older than John. Five, five six months. Yeah, five, yeah. six months older, older than John. No, seven months. Seven months older than John. And mm. you've accepted his challenge. And somewhere along the lines, it's all got a bit... Uh, it's gone a bit peak tongue on it about where it were going to happen at and what, it, whether it should be for seated people to watch, you know, uh, we're a crowd, which we can't at the moment, or on YouTube or other platforms, pay per view. What do you think of the stumbling blocks to getting you and John in the ring? Because you've do, you've done everything possible. You're training all the time. You're ready. Mm. It looks like John's doing a bit of training. To be fair, doesn't it? Yeah, he's looking well. He looks yeah. better, doesn't he? he yeah. Of well, course, yeah. I'll give, so, give him that well. Um, and uh, like to speak from the heart, you know, he's looking well. You know, he's he looks like he's training hard. For what, yeah. I don't know. Whether he's going to pop out, spring out and uh, come out and fight me. Yeah. Um, I, I called him out enough times. Um, yeah. You know, let's do properly in the ring. All this fucking garbage and bollocks about fucking fields and fucking back gardens and acres and this and that. You know, the, the, the announcement when I first called him out was in a proper ring with refs and all done properly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And let's move forward and do it properly. Yeah. Um, you know, so, John, if you're listening to this, which you will listen to this, because I know you will listen to this, come out, let's get the fight on, all proper, all above board, move forward, best man wins on the night. Yeah. So I can say to you, mate, you're not a uh, American fighting cock, yeah, a Yankee cock as you put it, yeah. You're not fucking X-rated, yeah. You're nothing, mate. Yeah, no one's seen you fight. No one's seen this. No one's seen that. And I don't care if you've had loads of fights or whatever you are. I'm challenging you for a fight with me, okay? Queensbury rules, in a ring, judges, and everything done properly. Yeah, come out and fight me. I'm offering you out, okay? Not how he didn't turn up on a Sunday morning and all that bollocks. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Tra traveling boys don't go to traveling the other side's uh, uh, backyards. They go to a mutual place, okay? So we'll be in a ring somewhere, mutual, with refs, and all done properly, and how loud it are. And best man win on the night, yeah? yeah? So you're not X-rated, as you say. I'm not messing with the best. So if you are the best and you're X-rated, yeah, and I don't know what I'm messing with, come out and prove to me that you are who you are and you can knock me out, yeah? Simple. Let's get it out of the way. Let's get it finished, yeah? Come on Porky's channel, yeah? Porky can be the uh, the, the, the one friend, the questions at me and you, like, like a heads-off thing, which everyone, listen, I've seen it on the internet now, everyone's saying, you know, everyone that's on your side is saying, come on, John, get on Porky's channel. The whole world wants to see this, yeah? So come on, be a man. Let's have a chat on the channel. Let's move forward this fight. And get it, get it done, once and for all, yeah. And done. So simple, mate. You're a man. You're X-rated, yeah. You're the big game as a Yankee fucking cock. You're not. You're a Yankee lame one that sits back and just does the eggs. Yeah. You, just lay eggs with you, mate. you might, have, you might want to think you're doing this and you're doing that in, in, in the ring. Well, come and give it to me. You know, what are you training for? Come on, mate. I'm here. I'm ready. Let's get it on. Let's cut all the bollocks out. Yeah. yeah. Be a man, John. Be a man. Yeah. yeah. Even traveling boys are saying you ain't got the balls anymore. Yeah. They, and a lot of them say you're the man. Yeah. You're this and you're that. And they're licking your ass, mate. Yeah. I don't know why. Because no one's seen you fight. Yeah. Prove yourself to me and nobody that's never had a fight in the ring. The only fight I want in the ring is with you. Okay. Prove what you can do to me, yeah? Best man winning the night, yeah? You don't have to shake my hand after, and I won't shake your hand after. However you want to play, John, yeah? Just come out, come on the channel, let's move forward, show your fans what sort of an X-rated man you are, yeah? Take me on, yeah? Someone's a lot smaller than you, a lot lighter than you, yeah? You should walk all over me, mate. Let's see what you can do. I'm here. You say you fear no man. Come and fight me before you want to jump the gun to, to Mike Tyson, yeah? 
which you're wasting your time talking like that on there, and a lot of people know that. So be a man, John, Mr. X rated, gamers and Yankee cop, whatever you are. You're nothing at the moment, mate, so you come out and do it. Yeah? Come and beat me if you could. Do you think and then move forward? Do you think the reason, mate, that John's been pretty quiet on YouTube videos is because he's in training? Well, listen, he, he can do what he wants. He can be quiet, he can be running his mouth, he can be this, he can be that, he can be whatever he wants at the end of the day. Listen, he can spring out when he wants to, because, listen, I'm training every day, so he can spring out and come out and say, right, let's do it. You know, we'll do it. We'll set a date, we'll do it properly. Not a problem. I don't have a problem. You know? We showed him a little bit of training the other day in your last video when you come down to see me. Yeah? Ticking along, mate. Waiting for you to say, yes, I would challenge you. Let's get it on. Let's be both professional at it. Let's move forward. Let's come on the channel. Let's talk to each other and move forward. Okay, what a lovely thing to do. Yeah. Do you feel, mate, that uh, obviously... I know where you're doing them sprints in the morning and stuff, and then you go you go do your bag work and pad work and stretching and 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 cooling down and all that. Do you think that you might end up overtraining, or is it just something that you like doing? Listen, I, I love doing it anyway, so it don't bother me. If, even if I'm overtrained, so uh, you know, yeah, it's better than being undertrained, isn't it? Yeah, I, I want to ask you about some of the, the work you were doing in the ring. You know, uh, obviously John's going to be taller than you and longer reach and that. Is that why you were training, how you were training in when we were down there? Obviously, you're training for a bigger man, to fight a bigger man, aren't you? Uh, well, yeah, of course. Um, you know, I suppose depending what what, what your opponent's all about, um, yeah. You have to go accordingly, isn't you? Yeah. But listen, it's like a game of draft chess um, or, or, or drafts. Uh, you know, it's how the person moves towards you to how you react at the end of the day. You know, uh, you know. Sometimes I see the corner men saying, "Do this, do that." He's doing this, he's doing that. But when you get in, he's doing something else, and you've got to do something else. So how does that work? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So. You go in there, you, you pick, you know, see how he is and start moving around and then you get to know what's what and then you start doing what you've got to do. Um, I'm sure John as a professional you know, knows all that and knows what to do. Me, I'm still I'm still not even a novice, am I? <laughs> Just... Yeah. You can call me a novice. Well, I am a novice, am I? Yeah. Uh, well, from what I saw down there over there, I don't think you are, but... Obviously, to train like that for an hour, you know, obviously from your stretching to your cooling down, so to train non-stop 50 minutes by the stretching beginning and ending, I think uh, at that pace, I thought that were all right. I thought that were all right. But I never saw you lift any yeah. weight or anything. So all this about that you're a big jewel set and a big weightlifter and all that, I never, I never seen you mess about with any weights. So I don't get that. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Listen, people talk about it. They, but listen, they want to put you down for, for, for one reason. Listen, I heard John was fucking juiced up a few years ago. He went to 23 stone, you know what I mean? I heard, I heard he was bang on the steroids, you know what I mean? So, But he's all right feeding it and dishing it out to someone else a bit, isn't it? Listen, that was, my, that was my, 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 my game. I was top of my game. Yes, I did take him back in the day, you know what I mean? You know, I was, I was three times the size I am now, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I don't want to be big. I don't want to put fucking gear in me because I won't be able to move. You know what I mean? Lactic acids build up. You can't fucking hold your arms up if you're on gear, mate. You know? So, John, get some juice down you, mate. You're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. He might be he might be sampling a little bit of juice now. I think he's going to make himself better. He looked well, actually, when I've seen them pictures of him. Mate. You have to say he's, he looks... He looked very well. He looked very... John, you're looking very well, by the way. Total respect you, mate. You're looking well. Keep up the hard work. Like you say, you know, you come on, on, on Instagram saying, you know, you, you, you're in your 50s. Anyone out there, get get training, get eating right, and get you're going to do what I'm doing. But this is, this is great stuff, mate. You know, it's great motivator. I want to call you Mr. Motivator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, then. Do, do you feel... Come like on this channel with Porky and me. Yeah. Do you feel, though, Mick, that uh, we'll get John on here via Zoom? 
uh, and you, and I'll ask the questions because he, he will come to the table eventually. When probably when he's in shape, do you feel that you might have just bit off a little bit more than than you should have done with John? What What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking shaking. Yeah. Uh, so you obviously you're not bothered really. that. Called me, I shouldn't have called him out. It was all your fault. Yeah. What if it goes wrong, Mick, and you get beat or knocked out? Would you shake his hand? Listen, I'll take my hat off to him. So I'll bring a hat in with me when I I'll keep it in the corner in case he beats me. I'll have to take my hat off and pray to him and thank you very much. And I was stupid, to, you know, taking you on, you know, because you're X rated. You're the best. Turn up. You know. Do you, do you feel, Mick, that. Uh... Oh, did you keep John keeps telling me to turn up, right? Turn up. Turn up, John. Turn up for your fans, mate, because they all want to see the fight. Yeah. If yeah. you don't, John, yeah. very simple. Please come forward and say, Mickey Theo, not interested. Thank you. Bye. Done. That's all we want to hear. You know, this is a challenge. That's what it is. We don't have any grief with you. We don't have any problems with you. You know, all them idiots fucking ringing up and threats and all that bollocks. You know what I mean? That's got nothing to do with other people. This is a purely simple challenge from man to man. No one has got a problem with you, John. You're the one, you, are the one who came out and says about Dana White, I'll, I'll fucking smash him and all that bollocks. Then you fucking started offering that David Hay, Lennox Lewis, this one, that one, this one, that one. And now you've got the fucking Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, and all the top boys. Yeah? Come on, John. Come and fight Mickey Theo first. I'm here. With you. Mr. Nobody, no pros. You've got an easy fight, you know? All these pros you're offering out. Listen, you've got someone so simple offering you out. Well, sorry. Taking you up in your challenge, saying you're the best man. So here I am. Ring me. I'm X-rated in my profession. I'm re we rang you. You don't even answer the phone. Yeah. So listen, come on Fox Channel. Let's get together. Get our rats off. Sit down on the table, obviously on the Skype, and uh, let's move forward with this fight. Yeah. All right. Then. Good for you. Good for me. Do you feel that? Who do you think's got more to lose, Mick? If if either of you lose, who's got the most to lose? That's a silly question, isn't it? I'm, I know. Big, I'm, bad, big bad, X rated, big bollocks, bananas, whatever you want to call him, he's going to lose, not me. He's got more to lose. Yeah. yeah. I'm a nobody. I'm not a pro. I'm just a, a stepping stone guy that thinks he can take on the challenge. Who else in this world will, 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 will honestly, will do what I've done? Yeah. Challenge, big, bad, Gypsy John. X-rated man, yeah? yeah. I'm doing it. I'm stepping up to the plate. Yeah. What do you feel about all these people who keep texting and leaving vile comments and this and that? Do you feel that they got you, fuck away? Do you feel that John's got a reputation that's unwarranted, or or do oh. you feel that it's just people in the traveling community that uh, are, are backing yeah, them? I, I keep asking these traveling boys, gypsy boys that I meet. Why the fuck, or what the fuck do you, or do you see John Fury? To? Answer the question. They can't answer the question. Yeah. They just love you, John. You're an inspiration for them. Yeah. But, um, and when you question the people that says, oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, but have you seen him fight? Computer says no. Have you seen him have a bare knuckle fight? Computer says no, you know. It, okay, he was a pro and he'd done a few fights. So what? You know, he wasn't, you know, he, listen. He was a pro. He done his best, and that's it. Not putting the guy down anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. You are going to be good in, in something. You're not good in something. You know. And I believe whatever I do, yeah. And I've I've, 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 I've shown myself what I can do over the years in bodybuilding, yeah. You know, and and, and what else I do, you know. And <coughs> I fan, I fancy my chances. That's why I've called him out. You know. Yeah. Why would I do that? Think about it. Why would someone like me challenge John Fury? I've done yeah. it. Because do I believe feel... I can beat him. That's why I've done it. Obviously, yeah. there's no other reason. Do you feel, Mick, that if you if he don't fight you and doesn't doesn't put it to bed, 
that John will lose respect in his own community and in the boxing. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I think they've lost uh, a bit of respect for him at the moment. Forget if he if he does if he doesn't. You know, uh, there's everyone saying on 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 the comments. comments. I don't really look at people tell me. You know what I mean? You know, and I seen I seen one today saying, you know, this is one of John's fans saying, come on, John, step up to the table with Porky Channel. We'd speak with Mickey Fio and get the fight on, you know. Prove who you are. You know, you're X-rayed, you're this or that. Prove to, you know, just come yeah. forward. No one's fucking threatening you. No one's having a go at you. It's a challenge, it's simple. You're the ones calling people out, yeah? You reckon you're the best 54-year-old? Well, I don't believe you are. There's many. Forget me, yeah? Or me thinking I'm better than you. There's fucking hundreds of people out there that is a lot older than you and me, John, would probably take you out, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you seen you seen a guy training with me the other day, uh, Russ. He's fucking X rated, mate. He's fucking double X. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Any way you want. Yeah? yeah. My trainer. Is that the and guy that what? does the self defense classes? Yeah, the guy that was training me on the video. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, yeah. He's fucking take anyone out of bits, you know? He's cage he's, fighter though, isn't he? I mean, he's a cage fighter, martial art guy. He can be what you want. He can be what you want. Yeah. He would do boxing. He would do whatever you want, martial arts. He would do anything you want, that guy. Yeah. And, and he would come out victorious because he—that's yeah. what he is. He was a nice man, him actually, a nice lad. Yeah, and me and him have been training for years. You know what I mean? We have it together in the ring, you know, fifty cuffs, and he can fucking box as well. You know, he can kickbox, box. He's a combat man. You know what I mean? Um, he's military, you know. So we've we've had proper fucking blowouts, you know what I mean? Full, full on. Yeah. Yeah, over the years. Yeah, yeah. But that's how you get better. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. Well, uh, we'll leave it at that today then, Mick, for now. And we'll uh, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. And let's hope that John, if you're watching, we'll keep, this... we'll keep chipping away at John see if he comes out. John, chipping away. All this stuff they all. If he does stop, if he does, if he doesn't want us to chip away, simple. Come out and fight me, number one, or number two. Just get out and say, Mickey Fiel, I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Bye bye. And I'll do that, John. I respect what you say. Yeah. Just say it. Say you don't want to fight me, and we're done. Okay. No problem, John. Respect for you for saying that. Okay. Or come out and fight me. But if you don't want to fight, just say I don't want to fight. Stop chipping at me. Leave me alone. I've got my grandkids to get on with. And blah blah blah, whatever. Simple. I don't want to keep fucking calling. I'm getting fed up with fucking calling you out and trying to get you out of the ring. Yeah. Yeah. But it's on my bucket. It's on my bucket list, and I need to get it done. Yeah. yeah. So, please, John, come out and say you don't want to fight, or say you want to fight. Come and talk your channel. You're looking well. You're looking fit. You're doing all the running. You're doing your weights. You're doing your boxing. You're ready. Just come. Let's yeah. move. Yeah. Three, four rounds, whatever you want, mate, we'll do it. Because, you know, although you're an ex-pro and you probably don't want to do eight, three, eight, eight threes because, uh, mate, I don't know why you don't want to do it. You, you know, you're talking about four twos. Whatever you want to do, mate, I'll match it. You'd be better off with longer rounds, wouldn't you? I prefer longer rounds. If he's, if he's, listen, at the end of the day, if he's a professional and he's this and he's that, yeah, he, should, he shouldn't say no to three minute rounds. We'll go eight three-minute rounds, John, yeah? Or like you say, we'll go all out, all out, no bells, best man standing, yeah? But Queensbury rules, not a problem. Yeah. I prefer that. That's what I do. <laughs> so, whatever you want, come forward, let us know what you want to do, and we'll do it. Yeah. Okay? But all come right. on this channel, just get it, get it out to people, and which they're going to love all this. You know, like a face off, but you're not really next to me. You're in another planet somewhere on the moon, yeah? So let's, let's get together and do that. Zoom in, three-way conversation. And let's move forward and keep everyone happy. Because listen, this is going on too long now. This is like six months. Um, yeah. Nothing else to say. Yeah, all right then. Well, let's keep uh, hoping that John will get into it. So all you people out there that follow my channel... Get in touch with John on Instagram or Twitter and just ask him what's happening and let's put this to bed. It is a fighting man that doesn't fight. 
that isn't doing any exactly. fighting. Exactly. They all, everyone out there, hope you're all listening. You all got your comments to say, yeah, about Big Bad John, but no one's seen, no, no one's seen him fight. You know, you're making up um, illusions that he will smash and blast Mickey Fio out, okay? Simple. Stop all that bollocks. What you should be encouraging is John to come forward on Porky's channel and get the fight on. Yeah. And listen, only until it's done, then you can say, well, look, you got fucking beaten. Yeah, you, whatever you want to call the person. And I'll take it if I get beaten. I say, yeah, oh, no problem. I'll bow to you. I tried. <laughs> um, no problem. You know, just simple. Don't come out with all the sarcasm and all the bollocks and all the shit and all the threats and all the crap. Yeah, it's two men going to challenge each other. It's simple. Yeah, you know, it takes guts to get in a ring and have a tear up. Like everyone knows, or probably you guys don't know, who's giving all the bollocks. Yeah, okay. So two two guys getting in and, and getting it on properly. Yeah. So when you put your comments in, like probably saying he, he he's deleted so much shit coming out your mouths. Yeah. All bollocks. All sort of fucking crap that comes out. Yeah. No one even has seen John fight. Okay. It's simple. Send your comments to John. Encourage John to come out and fight if he's the man, the x ray man. Yeah, done. Okay. And people will all make me, me a fight. You know, not rather than putting sarcasm, John's going to do this, John's going to do that. Come and fight me. And let's see if John can do what you're telling him. Simple. It shuts you lot like up. Yeah. And it gets you on, doesn't it? Simple. So cut all the bollocks out, all the crap out. If you want John to fight, you should be banging at him to come and fight me. Simple. We're the innocent ones, me and Porky. All he's doing, what we're trying to do is get the fight on, yeah? yeah? So you don't think about that side of it. We keep calling John Fury out and he's not coming out, yeah? So who's the one with no bollocks at the moment, yeah? That's what we've got to look at. Because that's reality, yeah? He's got no bollocks at the moment. I'm here. My bollocks are here on the table. <laughs> yeah. yeah? So cut all your bollocks out, all you bollocks people, okay? And let's get the fight on. Then you can talk what you want to talk. But before that, you need to be calling your your, your, your man out, the, the man that you want to win, which is your big, bad, X-ray John Fury. And that's it. Bring him out. All right, then. Uh, there's a the reward still in my desk at, uh, at office, mate. £1,000 for information leading to the guy who John fought for 100 grand. Uh, he said he had a bare knuckle fight in some newspaper years ago for hundred grand, but he's forgot the guy's name. So if anybody were there at the fight or knows the guy's name, can you get in touch? Porky Corner at mail.com and there's a thousand pound for information about who John fought because we want to get him on you channel as well and sell fight, you, won't we? You might as well put that in the bank, make interest make that never come true. Because <laughs> it would never happen. You, 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 rather than sitting in your drawer, mate. <laughs> well, I've heard off somebody who knows John that it didn't happen. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll double it. I'll go thousand pounds as well. So that's two grand for information for who John Fury fought for hundred thousand pound in a bare knuckle. Cost so far nobody's come forward. People who know John say it didn't happen. And what did somebody say? He's only ever had two fights, bare knuckle. One police turned up and it never happened. The other one, they both quit, didn't they? So, where's this hundred thousand pound cash? Oh, sorry, he had, one, he had a, the other one was in the auctions, wasn't he? Yeah, so he yeah, mates out. yeah, yeah. Hey, eh? well, well, we'll not go down that avenue because that's all it passed in it. But, uh, as regards the under yeah, that's part, yeah. everybody I've ever had a fight with, Mick, or you've had a fight with, we know the names, don't we? So, if you're gonna fight somebody for hundred grand and he paid you, you would know who that way, wouldn't you? Yeah. So I don't believe yeah. it, but if that's if that's rubbish, John, prove me wrong and collect two thousand pounds. But other than that, stop putting things out in the Sun newspaper that you're this fighting man and in interviews saying we just love to fight because you've been out of prison, John, five and a half year now, and you haven't thrown a punch. Now nobody's having a go at you. We're just stating facts. You have not thrown a punch. So. Let's get well, listen, I've, heard, I've heard all that fucking bollocks on you on, on I, IFL, uh, Coogan's uh, thingy. Yeah, we love fighting. I, I went away from fighting. I've just done 12 years of fighting. All that bollocks. Okay? You weren't fighting. You fucking took someone's eye out. 
Yeah. Excuse me, one minute, Paul. Um, we need to move on. Uh, he's doing the sign here. I think so. Do you have any black? Screw his head. Um, one sec. Uh, I might be there. Um, Sorry about that, Russ. No problem, mate. I've always wanted to change the van. Sorry? No problem, mate. Uh, we'll wrap it up then, Mick. It's been great to talk to you again, and uh, I'll give you a ring later, and we'll have a chat about that other thing, but I hope you're well. Yeah, okay, mate. And keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Have you got a message to John before we uh, wrap this up? I don't have a talk and try and get messages out of John. Listen, at the end of the day, like I said, there's a lot of people talking bollocks and, 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 and uh, sending crap reviews, stupid reviews, um, you know, if they love John and they think John can, can come out victorious, send messages to John, get him out to, to even, you know, have a chat show yeah. with yourselves on your channel and simple, listen, we're fucking grown men, you know what I mean? We're not kids, you know what I mean? We don't have a problem with each other. Yeah. Well, I don't have a problem. I don't know about him, but, um, the way he spoke a few times on, on the video, I understand your fucking fault. <laughs> but listen, I'll take that back. It's not a problem. Um, John, honestly, um, whatever it is, there's no problem either way. It'd be nice to get in the ring with you and challenge you. Listen, you're saying, you're basically, cut a long story short, you saying that you're the best 54 or you're 55 now, whatever you want now, it's 56. I'm older than you, like we just said, by about six months. I'm offering you a challenge, mate. I'm offering you out in the ring. All right, then. I'm here. That's all I've got to say. No problem, then, mate. Well, listen, you oh, take care, mate. Go, mate. Hey, I'll speak to you soon. And you. Speak to you later. Take yeah, care. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, that were Mickey Theo from Essex. Uh, I think he were at his car place where they do tyres and brakes and valets and stuff, so... Hard working lad just wants to accept John Fury's challenge and uh, have a fight with you, John. So come on, let's nip it in, bud, John. Uh, I would say you don't want to fight Mickey, or let's get you on channel and arrange a date, and we'll get lawyers involved, contracts drawn up, venues, platforms, and we'll sort it out like proper men. All right, John. Peace out. <laughs>